The first step is to inject local anesthetic into the breast. Here's the ultrasound image with the needle appearing as a white line entering the breast on the left side of the ultrasound image. After the skin is anesthetized with lidocaine, a scalpel is used to make a small nick in the skin. Next, a longer needle is introduced through the skin nick and additional local anesthetic is injected into the breast. Now you see the needle appearing as a white line entering the left side of the image and then passing between the skin above and the cancer below. The cancer appears as a dark area at the center of the image. In this moment you see local anesthetic being injected between the skin above and the cancer below. And now the needle is inserted past the cancer to inject local anesthetic on the other side of the cancer. Now you see me holding the cryoprobe as I prepare to insert the cryoprobe through the skin nick under ultrasound guidance. Now you see the cryoprobe appearing as a white line entering the dark cancer from the left. From a different angle, you can see the cryoprobe appearing as a white dot at the center of the cancer. Now back to the original view with the cryoprobe appearing as a white line entering the left side of the cancer. Fast forwarding a bit, here you see the cryoprobe as a white line fully penetrating the dark cancer and again from a different angle appearing as a white dot at the center of a dark cancer. To protect the skin from freezing, they set up a catheter containing saline which can be injected under the skin to protect it from the underlying ice ball. The first of two freeze-thaw cycles begins. The first sign of ice formation is that the ultrasound image begins to turn dark, initially under the cryoprobe and then on top of the cryoprobe as the ice ball expands to surround the cancer. You see that the ice ball has begun to grow much larger and is now approaching the skin. So it's time to inject saline to protect the overlying skin. Here you see the dark ice ball below and the saline containing needle entering the left side of the image to inject saline between the skin and the ice ball. At a different angle, you see the saline containing needle appearing as a white dot at the very top of the round ice ball. Now I'm adjusting the needle position to inject saline into a different area around the ice ball. And you actually see the ice ball move away from the skin as the saline is injected between the two. Here again is the ice ball from a different angle. When the second freeze is complete, the cryoprobe is automatically warmed to permit the withdrawal and removal of the cryoprobe from the ice ball. After a few minutes of pressure, a bandage is applied and the procedure is complete.